we are on our FSA practice day six, and we, today we are talking about factors and multiples. So let's go over a few definitions real quick to help us remember what those are. So a factor is a number that makes up a multiplication problem. So in a multiplication problem, you will have at least two factors. A multiple is an answer to a multiplication problem. So factors are your two numbers that you're multiplying, and your multiple is your product, or it is your answer. Let's talk about what a prime number is. A prime number is a number that has only one and itself as factors. So for example, 13 is a prime number because one times 13 is the only multiplication problem that equals 13. One and itself are its only factors. A composite number is the opposite of a prime number. So this is a number that has many factors. So for example, 16 is a composite number because it has 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. So those are the factors of 16. And because if there's more than one and itself, it is considered a composite number. So if you were going to write out multiples, remember that those are answers to multiplication problems. So when it says write out the next five multiples of six, you need to think what Six times a number is going to equal what? So for example, six times two is going to equal 12. That is the first multiple we would write down. Six times three equals 18. That's my second multiple. Six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. And six times six is 36. Those are my next five multiples, 12, 18, 24, 30, and 36. Now, if I were asking you to write out all the factors of the number 12 and of the number 37, and then tell me if they are prime or composite. A tip that I can give you to help you do that is to use your factor rainbows to help you. Your factor rainbows are going to help you guys figure that out. So I'm going to give you some time to write out all the factors of 12 and 37, and hopefully you get the same thing that I got. So I'm going to give you a minute now to get that done. Remember to use your factor rainbows to help you. Okay, that was about one minute. So I am going to show you my answers and let's compare them to what you have. So for 12, there are a lot of factors that go in. I know one times 12 are going to be my factors. I know two times six are a set of factors and three times four. And that's all of my factors that go into the number 12. And since I have more than 1 and 12 as my factors, it is a composite number. Now for 37, there's only one set of factors. That is 1 times 37. That makes 37 a prime number. 
let me know if you guys have any questions, especially when you're doing your work. I'm here to help you guys, so please reach out if you need me, okay? Have a good day.